49, one of our favorite segments. It's time to meet your tail wagger of the week here with an update on what's going on in Animal Humane and a pet that's looking for a good home is Laura Kuchenmeister. So good to have you this morning. Thanks for having us. So Fridays we talk about pets that need a good home. This that's isn't the right. only one at, at uh, Animal no. Humane, but I know that uh, he needs a good home himself. He is a great dog. This is Griff. He's two years old. He's a Rottweiler cross. We're not actually sure what he's crossed with, and he is one of the sweetest dogs. He will lean into you and mm -hmm. get so close mm -hmm. just for affection. And my favorite thing about Griff um, that I hope he does is after you pet him for a while, he kind of like falls, you know, just gently <laughs> to the floor <laughs> looking for a belly rub. Because he's had so much love and he just he wants more. He's such a great dog. It. Yeah, he was doing that to me too, kind of pressing himself uh -huh. into, my, uh, into my legs there, hoping to get a little bit of a yeah. pet. One of the things I noticed when he came into the newsroom and, and was... Uh, flirting with everyone for lack of a good word is uh, that he just loves people. He does. He wants to greet everyone. He just we actually have a program called the Warm Hearts Network mm -hmm. and they help us identify pets that might be good therapy dogs. Um, so pets that could go into like a senior center or something and, mm -hmm. and work with with the residents there. And so he is one of those. OK, so he just wants to be around every every person in the world. Yeah, you can't beat a, the kind of dog that's just lovey and really wants to, you know, would be good for a family or, right. as you say, in, right. in a situation Absolutely. where it really has to help other people. Absolutely. Okay, so you got a lot going on at your organization, too. We always too. do, always. What's one of the things, one of the cookie drives is we happening, are right? Working is that with, right? That's right. All April, um, we're working with Rude Boy Cookies for a great fundraiser. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the Cookie Paws Cause. They're selling great sugar and red velvet cookies in the shape of a paw. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, a dollar from the sale of every everyone is going to help the pets in our care. Now, what about volunteers? I know they're pretty essential to your organization. Absolutely. And we, how are you honoring them? We have about over, we have over 400 volunteers mm -hmm. at Animal Humane, and this last year they contributed over 48,000 hours, which is about 24 full-time employees. Mm -hmm. So they do uh, so many things for us. They walk dogs, they mm -hmm. cuddle cats, they help us clean some of our facilities, they work in our thrift store. Some of them even help out with outreach and marketing efforts. So it's just an amazing group of people. And um, this week we're, we're just doing a lot to try to acknowledge them and recognize them for everything that they help us do. You have room for more? As always, well? always more. That sounds good. What kind of positions just besides walking dogs? What and, might they and, do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, we always need outreach volunteers, mm -hmm. people to go into community events and talk about Animal Humane in our programs. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for thrift store volunteers, people mm -hmm. who can help us sort through the donations that we receive. <laughs> uh, we have we have always spots in our clinic mm -hmm. um, to do different different tasks over there. And um, really, you could you could really volunteer in almost any part of Animal Humane. Oh, you're just kind of mouthy a little bit, just huh, aren't a little. You? It's, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't hurt though. He's just being playful. Yeah, we love he's that. Just, he's, he's just like, excited to, to be me. here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. You, now, lastly, you have something going on with cats, right? We do. Our very first ever Understanding Cat Body Language Seminar is on April 25th. Okay. It's only ten dollars. Um, it's a great thing for people to learn learn how to talk, well, not how to talk to their cat, but how to interpret the behavior that their cat is showing and, and really even um, figure out what they might be doing mm -hmm. to influence the emotional state of their cat. Mm -hmm. So um, just a little seminar a behavior team is putting on um, nice. and there will be more to come throughout the year, but uh, we've never done one on the cats before and we hope some cat people come out. Well, we love talking with you. We'd love to have Thank you, you. Here, uh, for Tail Wagger of the Week. Griff, as Griff. you said is looking for a good home so if you're interested in bringing him as as part of your uh, as part of your family you want to get in touch with them and again how can they do that they can go to animalhumanenm.org or um, call us at 255-5523 sounds good laura thank you so much thank for coming you. in today enjoy your, your weekend Me and too. we hope he finds a good home along with all of his friends we'll be right back